What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 laddering session. It's been a couple of days, apologies, I am quite busy, but I am on spring break, so I'm planning on recording some videos while I'm, you know, away from classes. But also, I got a lot to do. I'm applying for jobs, I'm uh, studying for exams I got right after spring break, so I'll try to get at least one video out each uh, day of spring break and maybe pre-record some for the upcoming weeks, but yeah. Uh, today we're going to be continuing to use the Kamo team. I haven't played since I recorded the last video, so we're still in Great Ball 9 since the ladder reset like a week ago. But yeah, <clears throat> if you guys enjoy this damn point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I'm going to bring you daily VGC content and answer my comment question of the day. What do you think is the most busted move in the game that you would like to see removed? There's a lot of moves, um, I, I guess not annoying moves, but what, what move do you think is just too good and requires a rework or just should be outright removed? I think I, th I think rework would be a more interesting question because it's like, hey, what move is annoying and busted and how would you fix it? I guess that's a better way to word it. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do it. <clears throat> Hopefully we can actually face uh, a sun team today because that's what the Kamo is meant to do. The Kamo is meant to be anti-sun. Uh, which is always very fun when you actually get to use it versus a Groudon hard wallet with iron defense. Uh, and also, you know, Sleep Powder Venusaur doesn't have a great time versus it. Max Vine Lash even doesn't do as much as they'd hope because you got leftovers and I'm pretty specially defensive and also just the natural resist to being a dragon type. So there's there's a lot going for it versus Sun Teams. The only thing you really don't like is Opposing Thunderous. So facing off versus Plague Cast. That sounds like a streamer. I don't think I've ever heard of them, but it sounds like a streamer's name. Um... So this is a Sun team, but there is a Charizard, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, I think if I can get past the Charizard, uh, Kamo can do some work. I am definitely going to go ahead and lead off Thunderous Blastoise here. And I'm going to bring the Kamoa regardless of the fact that maybe it's not great versus Charizard. Because if we can remove that Charizard, all of a sudden Kamoa becomes a menace versus this guy's team. And my last Mon is going to go ahead and be the Zacian. Uh, since Zacian is able to uh, deal with the opposing Zacian, hopefully. <laughs> and... Uh, Man, that's actually a little bit of a tough call. Let me think. So, Evelto is nice because it just beats Groudon outright, uh, but it doesn't beat opposing Zacian, and they also have a Gastron, which could be kind of annoying. I'm leaning towards Evelto, and the more I think about it, but also I'm a little bit concerned because I could just annihilate the the Zacian with uh, Blastoise. So, yeah, I'm gonna go Evelto. It just it just seems a little bit safer since it can switch it on Prespice Blades. Also, something to note is I deal with a lot of computer screens all day because a lot of my assignments are online and I record videos and stream. So I, I've bought like a pair of blue light filter glasses and it just feels weird wearing these things. Like I feel like my opponent right now with that that thing on his face, you know? Okay, there's the Zard. Um, I'd like to immediately annihilate the Zard. I'm a little bit concerned they brought the Gastro. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned he's about to take us to Gastro World, but I'm willing to take the risk. Please don't take me to Gastro World. All right. <laughs> I mean, let's do it. Let's rain dance. If if this works out, I'd be really happy because then we could just yep, go on, and then uh, Kamo can do its thing. You know, I, I don't I don't know if yep is a good on amount of Pia for it, but hopefully it's a it's appropriate. Hopefully, it won't get. Hopefully, my my max water move doesn't get you know by a Gastrodon. I'm just on it with the on amount of Pia today. That's definitely going to be the Charizard. There's no reason to Dynamax a uh, Groudon in this situation versus a Blastoise in the Thunderous, but the fact that they stayed in is super, super nice uh, because it just means next turn I get to do another thing. And also the Rain plus my super special defensive set will mean that I'm just going to tank this. Like, even a max Airstream isn't going to do too much. All right. As we max our Blastoise here, and uh, there's no way this Charizard lives the hit. There's literally no chance. Thank you, Thunders, for the Rain Dance. And uh, the Gastrodon didn't come in just now, so he's not going to have a good time. I take, like, nothing from that. <laughs> like, like actually nothing. Uh, hopefully the Groudon doesn't Swords Dance here. That would be a little bit annoying since I did drop Foul Play on my on my uh, Thundee. 
As they just stone edge. I think I tank that. Oh, no, I don't tank it. Okay. Uh, not the end of the world, but obviously not great. Uh, we did just see that they are running stone edge. So that means that my Veltal doesn't outright beat it, but I could just target it next turn since they don't really have much that they can switch in on this. Since Gashon should have definitely come in a turn ago. I think now is an appropriate time to get in the Kamoa and start setting up iron defenses while I target the Groudon. Let's get the Kamoa in here. Uh, I definitely don't want to bring any Veltal. Dang, I brought a really, really weak to Zacian team. But I can just annihilate Zacian this turn, so, you know, that's that's always an option. As they do have a Gastrodon. I'm about to be taking the Gastro world, dude. Not the end of the world, honestly. Uh, I'm just going to get an Iron Defense off. And I'm going to Hailstorm this Groudon. Because regardless of what happens, the Groudon's going to take a lot of damage. Uh, and beyond that, they're going to take, you know, Vortex plus Hail, which is going to stack up after a while. There's the P-Blades. I take, like, nothing-ish from that. <laughs> As far as Kamoga, I feel like nothing-ish is such a bad way of putting it. I take less than they probably would hope. I'm going to go for the Hailstorm here. I'm pretty confident this plus Hail plus everything just annihilates this thing. Oh, that's AV. You know, that explains why you can fit the... Uh, that explains why you can fit the uh, Stone Edge on your moveset. Uh, as they do go for a Yawn. Which, um... Am I fine with that? Am I fine with that? Do I need this thing to win? Alright, uh, I think I know my play here. Groudon's not really a threat to me anymore. But I am a little bit concerned with this Gastro here. I'm going to go ahead and body press it. It shouldn't take the hit super, super well. Um, but it should set up for a situation where I can like 2-hit KO. Yeah. Uh, actually, do I Iron Defense again? I'm kind of tempted to Iron Defense again, but I know I'm just going to get yawned and i'd like to get rid of you and i'll get in the eveltal here i'm willing to end my dynamax early in exchange for the option to fake out yawn etc but yeah that is a hundred percent av on that on that grout on there probably just gonna get yawned here press with blades kamo is gonna eat that up like Reese's puffs Yep. Uh, hopefully I don't get Ice Beam tier, or maybe I just get a one-shot. Maybe they're, like, super offensive and I just KO. Nope, not quite. Ice Beam? Yep, there it is. I don't know if that KOs me. It depends, because I am pretty specially defensive. Yeah, that does KO. Uh, but I now have Fake Out Pressure, and that was a crit. I don't know if that would have naturally KO'd. Gastron isn't known for its offensive prowess, you know? Uh, but now I do have a few outs if I can annihilate this Gastro. Because I got Fake Out, um, and the Groudon just went down. Ooh, this can be a rough end game. Yeah, uh, AV, AV Groudon definitely wasn't great for me. I got Yawn, I got a few things I can do here, but there's definitely a Zacian about to come out. Yeah, I feel like I would have lived that Ice Beam. I'm like running, not sassy, but calm or whatever the special defense boosting nature is. Alright, now my question is, does Foul Play KO a Gastron from this range? Oh wait, didn't I drop Foul Play? I dropped Foul Play. Have to fake out you. Oh no! <laughs> I don't have Foul Play! I got Sucker Punch. Uh, that definitely hits Gra Gastron harder. But it's likely just going to yawn me anyway, so I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse, and hopefully I can KO with that. I'm, I'm not super, super offensive, but maybe with Hail and everything, I can get lucky there. Okay, we do pick up a KO, so I feel a little bit better about this match. So that's just going to take some Hail damage. It's in my best interest. Is there still damage going on? Yeah, okay, good. That's great. That's great. It's going to help me out quite a bit here. 
I'm going to go for the... Is straight damage better? I think just straight up damage is a lot better. Do they have one more turn left of that? No, they don't. There are two turns left of Hail, though. I don't have Protect on either of these Pokemon, so Yawn isn't super productive. I'm just going to go for the Water Spout. Could also go for the Freeze, um, but Sucker Punch is great here. All right, maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> that does nothing. Actually, go for it on the Blastoise. Okay. All right, I'd just like to give a shout out to Playrough's 90% accuracy. Just going to put that out there. Uh, not that I hope that it comes into play, but I'm going to give a quick shout out to Playrough's really bad accuracy. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click this Dark Pulse. <laughs> Because the sucker punch wouldn't do here. Yo, shout out, shout out to Play Rough's 90% accuracy. Oh dang it. Okay, yeah, no. Good game. Good game. Pretty close. Um what could I have done better there? I think I think I played it pretty okay. Uh I definitely didn't expect Gastron to be in the back past the fact that they allowed me just to annihilate the the Charizard. But I suppose they guess I guess they would have just felt like safe by the fact that sun was up and it's not often you see a uh, a rain dance thunderous on the ladder so that, that's probably what it was I, I would like to check out that team though that's av right yeah i was gonna say there's no chance they live it if they weren't av the bulky now they're just fast hurricane blast burn Ooh, that's gonna be oh iron ball okay yeah, pretty respectable team. And they have no special attack investment, so I'm pretty confident I, I actually would have lived that. Oh, uh, that's a little bit annoying. I'm pretty confident I would have lived that hit. Okay. Let's keep going. Also, tonight, I haven't been streaming for a while because I've been super busy, but tonight I will be streaming. So if you guys want to check out my uh, Twitch, it's going to be linked in the description down below. I'm going to be using this team to get to Master Ball tier. Typically, it takes me a few games to get into the group of things when I start streaming. So, like, you know, lose one game and then go, like, five games undefeated and then lose one. And, you know, it's, it's usually how it is. Recording, I find much more stressful because I always get, like, performance anxiety. Because it's like, ah oh, man, I have to do good in this video and I only have, like, three opportunities to do it. Where with streaming, people are more understanding. You know, you're interacting with the audience. You're hanging out. Uh, and that's another Gastrodon. And also, Kamoa just is useless here. Um... Let me think. Uh, I, I really want Blastoise to be good here, but I, I can't discount that. I can't discount that Castro. I mean, if they don't just immediately switch it in, I, I get a free KO. I definitely want to bring my Zacian and my Evaldol here. I'm going to go for that lead, um, but I might play a little bit safe. I might go for like Fake Out Thunder Wave waiting for the Gastro to come in. I think they're definitely bringing it. Evadol Grim Snarl. Is this worth it? Is this worth my Dynamax? Will they go for it? Should I capture it? Or just let it slip? Uh... <sighs> Man. Okay, well, I can't Thunder Wave anything. Straight up can't. Um, I would like to annihilate that uh, that that Grim Snarl. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Cannonade it. And I'm going to get in my Zacian. No, that isn't my play either. I definitely want to go with like... Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm committing. This is this is a bad idea. This is a really really bad idea. This is such a bad idea. They didn't switch. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't as bad of an idea as I thought it would be. But also they could be like trick sucker punch with like max speed grim snarl. <laughs> I'm joking. That's not that's not a set. Uh, but getting rid of grim snarl early is really really nice because it prevents thunder waves on my Zacian. And also, maybe they just didn't bring the Gastro. Maybe maybe they just didn't. Rain Dance. Let's see if they light screen. They probably did. They might have even reflected, expecting like 
physical thunderous, which I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed to that. Light screen, that's fine. I'm probably still gonna take just chunks off of that Grim Snarl. And they go they do go for a snarl, but Blastoise avoids, let's go. God, a snarl versus a thunderous is such a risky play. Like even if you think it's like special, like it's still so risky. All right, that's good damage. Okay, uh, I no longer have to focus fire this Grim Snarl. I or not focus fire. I no longer have to focus on this Grim Snarl. It's gone in a turn and a half, anyways. I am now going to focus all of my attention on making sure Eveltal doesn't get to do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and Thunderbolt here, and I'm going to max Hailstorm. And even though they're probably not going to take too much from this due to the fact they have Snarl, they're probably AV. Uh, the chip damage that I'm doing on this thing, plus like the cannonade, hail, the direct super effective moves, it's going to be really useful. And if a Gastron does come in here, it's going to be a wasted turn for the Gastro. Okay, no switch, so I'm going to say that there, ju there just isn't a Gastrodon, um, and they're probably just going to Dynamax that Eveltal here. Hopefully they're not weakness policy, I'm pretty sure they're AV. Like, the rest of the team would say, this is probably an AV Eveltal. Airstream plus Spirit Break into my Blastoise would be such a raw play here. Okay, they just go for the Reflect, makes sense. All right, thank you, Bulky Thunderous. Uh, you remain getting one shot by Dynamax Pokemon. That's just, that's just your thing, I suppose. There's some Hailstorm damage. So Hail plus the Cannonade should do it on the Grim Snarl, and I can actually send out my Zacian here, and I'm pretty safe since they won't be able to Thunder Wave it. Also, people have asked me why I'm not running Rain Dish on my Blastoise, even though it's, you know, a Rain Dance team. The reason I don't run Rain Dish is because Cannonade with... What was it? Cannonade boosted by Torrent is one of the nastiest high-damaging moves that you could ask for in this game. Uh, and that's just something you can't discount. All right, uh, since they didn't die, I have to now Snarl, which is disappointing. But something that I can actually do here is Max Strike is actually probably optimal as it'll prevent an airstream turn and then on the next turn i'll be able to get in my zashin i hope <laughs> and uh and do something so max strike is optimal here because they should airstream even though it's like a low damaging move this is more of like a, a positioning thing like i don't want to i don't want them to get any speed boosts before Zashin hits the field. That's also the reason I was really hoping to KO this. Oh, you're not having a good time. Uh, to KO this thing with Hail plus, you know, Hydro Cannon. I, I really wanted it to just not be able to Thunder Wave anymore. And a strike is going to be very useful here. Uh, and next turn, I'm going to yawn. There's Snarl. And strike. Very little damage, but I did get rid of that speed boost. And now they only have one more turn to Dynamax move. I really hope that they don't send out the uh, Zashi in this turn, but I think that's probably optimal. I'd like to yawn this thing. There's the Zacian. Okay. Uh, let me think. It's it's probably better just to yawn the Zacian here, to be honest. It's probably better. Unless they're running Max Flare, I'm not really terribly concerned. So I'll yawn here. And... I'm going to lose my Eveltal anyways this turn. So like a play rough. I don't think I lose my Blastoise since they're at neutral and I'm especially defensive. I'm going to go ahead and just go for, I think I just go for Sucker Punch damage on Zacian, since I'm, I'm fully expecting to lose my Eveltal. Good little bit of chip. Hydro Cannon plus Hail is going to be really nice. 
They go for the play rough. Uh, I'm gonna lose my Veltal. Please tell me I survived this Max Darkness. Or Airstream, honestly, would probably be better for me. Okay, it's Darkness. Please survive. Thank you, Blastoise. Okay, that Yawn's gonna be really, really good now. And I have to play kind of aggressive this next turn. Uh, this is actually going to be really rough for me. So they didn't max Airstream, so I'm actually faster than the Eveltal. And I want to say they don't stand with Zacian here, because if the Zacian falls asleep, they just lose. I, I, I think they just lose if the Zacian falls asleep. So what I'm going to do is a, a an awesome gamer play. Let me think. If I sub here, um, I'm going to be faster than the Veltal since they didn't go for another max airstream. And Zacian should 100% never, ever, ever, ever stay in. Also, Zacian, or also Veltal shouldn't be able to break my sub. So what I'm going to do is go for a double yawn. Or actually, is it better if I ice beam this Veltal? No, I should double yawn. I'm going to double yawn and I'm going to go for a sub. They switched. Or they, they stayed in. That's actually kind of huge. If I have enough HP to get a sub off. I don't. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. Because that sub saved my life. <laughs> Alright, I need this hail to go away now. This hail actually might lose me the game. <laughs> this hail might actually lose me the game now. Um, that thing should be within range of Sucker Punch. Or not Sucker Punch, Ice Beam. There's one more turn left to Hail, so I'm going to live just barely, and I'm going to go for a Protect, because I get Sucker Punched otherwise. Alright, don't read that. Oh, he didn't. He snarled. He snarled, didn't he? Live it. Live it, please. Okay, I lost. I mean, I don't mind uploading two losses today. I still think the team is fun to watch. So, you know, I, I, I mean, like, it, it's fine if we just lose twice today. You know, I haven't, I haven't played in, like, a week. Okay. I'm, I'm going to call it there. Uh, it looks like I got absolutely nae on today, but I think the team is still pretty fun to record with. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try to get some games on stream tonight. Hopefully, we can get some more Ws there. But I hope you guys enjoyed you know, seeing me use the team, even if we got, you know, not the best results today, I'm sure we'll be able to like hit master bolts here on stream tonight and uh, use it in the high ladder. So yeah, have a nice night. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.